and here we have guys an awesome break bedrock glitch guys for 1.8 minecraft this is the new glitch of the day guys you can rip apart the whole roof strip whole entire area single pieces of bedrock uh mcbe and bedrock stay tuned and let's get it done Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you from Tutorial World with Tutorial Love. Guys, super crazy dope break bedrock glitch. It's so easy, guys. This is one of the coolest new glitches that's out with 1.8 and it uses one of the new blocks guaranteed to be glitchy in the game. So uh, we are gonna tell you about how to break bedrock really easily just using the simple form of this glitch. And then actually I found a, a video of a, a machine, a machine that will literally just go across the nether or wherever and just strip the bedrock right off the roof or wherever. So I'm gonna give a shout out right now to Dr. AV two zeros, two ones, very small YouTuber has this video on his channel. I think it's awesome. In this video, he actually shouts out JX67, which is uh, someone's name you've heard around here a few times, uh, but JX doesn't have a video. Long story short, I'm just gonna link both those dudes in the description below. So that said, it brings us to the main point. Guys, for this one here, 343 likes. If you are one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up below. So it's easy as this, guys. This is the straightforward version of the glitch if you really wanna get into it. It just comes down to bamboo will break bedrock easily so basically uh all you have to do is grab some bone meal and if you force it to grow through anything so it'll break any block immediately so even just like obsidian this is we're on creative right now it doesn't matter it will work exactly the same in survival blue ice anything anything you want to break right away it will work good as you can see we can bust right through this guy right here. If we were on survival, you would not be able to break through this. And yeah, so let me actually just switch to survival right now and show you because it's kind of a, it's kind of a tricky thing. I think it's pretty cool. It's literally, guys, you don't even realize in the the last video I have to break bedrock, it was it was like this huge machine with like 10 pistons and all this stuff just to do one and you have to be above just by one. But as you can see, you can't break bedrock no matter what you do on survival. But guess what? You can break right through it with this so i mean if you really wanted to you could just go through the entire nether or wherever this will work for end portal frame or like the you know what i mean you could do anything 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 it's very easy so in dr uh, dr av's video he actually has the craziest uh little machine and it's pretty cool i'm going to show you how to make it and i'm going to show you what it does exactly uh, what goes on i keep i keep trying to change my uh default mode here let's go to creative so Let's go into the nether. Where's my nether? Yeah, right here. I like my flatland nether here, actually, because when you go in, it's actually a flatland nether. It's, it's, it's also a villager farm, but basically, we're just going to go up, up, and away. But I like it because it allows me like a flatland in the nether to build, and it has a regular nether right next to it. I just think that's super, super, super cool. So there's my little hole in the sky and as you can see we have done a bunch of stuff we literally went right through this whole entire thing you could set up this little tunnel bore machine to just go and strip the roof right off of the nether so i'm not gonna i'm gonna do a tutorial but i'm just gonna show you it's as easy as that this is how the machine works so what you're going to do is make sure when you're making it that this back one right here it's going to go in that direction make sure that the back one here is a regular piston facing forward and this top one here is a sticky piston facing backwards in addition to that you have an observer facing in this direction right here you can see the arrows facing forward and this one right here is also facing up into this slime block this is a dispenser and this dispenser is filled with bone meal. This is easy. So like I said, I'm gonna, you guys can see literally how the build is made. I'm not too sure you don't necessarily need these guys right here, but what you do need is you would probably build it one lower. You're gonna want one block under here. You're gonna want a block of space because this is where you're gonna start it with the flint and steel. You start it right here. And then on the back, you hit on this, on this observer here to stop the machine. Again, if you're on survival, it becomes more of a challenge, but you know what? I'm gonna flip it on survival anyway. Make sure you have a bamboo here and then as you're going what you're going to want to do is make sure you just keep as it's moving forward and it keeps bone mealing the bamboo the bamboo breaks the bedrock you keep moving forward just keep spamming this area with it just like you're at a 
bamboo farm or something like that and as your machine goes and goes and goes you're going to just totally rip the roof right off the nether easy peasy like that in addition to that make sure you're safe because on survival this thing's going fast number two when you're up here your first impression is going to be to crouch and then trigger this with the bone meal do not crouch for some reason if you crouch it shoots you i'm telling you it will shoot you like all the way out there make sure you stand up you do not crouch even though it's hard so what i do is i crouch i go as far as i can and then i uncrouch and then hit this guy right here so let's put it into survival <laughs> I'm going to put it into survival and I'm going to do it and then I'm going to try to jump off before we hit the end and then I'll turn it back into creative mode and stop the machine. That said, I feel like it might be easier, you know, just to lay out, just to lay out like at the end of the day, if you really wanted to, you could just do this. You could just bone meal it one by one, every single one you want, and it'll go right through just like that. You see how easy it is, man? Holy cow. I don't think they're going to fix this one for a while, too. It seems like it's uh, going to be a challenge, but you can only do it to one at a time, so it becomes a whole nother story. I mean, you're going to have to basically, if you want to do this outside of creative mode on survival, you're just going to have to keep doing it for, you know, this many layers. As you can see, you'll probably have to do it, you know, four times, up to four times. Uh, depending so let's do this let's go into uh, sir let's go into survival mode as you can see the machine is here I did explain it as good as I can uh, bone meal here we got bamboo in our hands and we are gonna go up here let's turn this bad boy to survival all I really have to do is jump off before before we get to the edge even if I die it doesn't matter uh, survival bingo bango bongo so we're in survival we want to do this so I'm gonna crouch I'm gonna grab my flint and steel I'm gonna go as far as I can make sure you have one block right there just one block space I'm as far as I can I'm gonna uncrouch uncrouch once you do this you're gonna hit this guy right here bang once you do that it's gonna start moving and start spamming the bamboo like this hopefully I don't fall I'm gonna jump off now and there you go as you can see this machine went if I stayed on it it would have easily <laughs> oh well let it fly away you guys got the gist of it at the end of the day that is super cool guys don't forget to smash that like don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh yeah cool tutorials let's plays glitches stuff like that and wow it's gone because i didn't clear out the area in front of it you could tell i already did it one time over here and this machine went so far i cleared it right out and then i just i just did i just stopped doing it because i fell down so I don't know what you're going to do with it, but as you can see, you can literally strip the roof right off of the nether and do whatever you desire. Guys, thanks a lot, and I'll catch you on the next one.